In this video, I will show you how to configure your UDM Pro Max for the first time. Make sure your UDM Pro is turned on and ready. Plug in the internet source or WAN. Next, plug in the LAN connection to your computer. You can plug your computer from port 1 to port 7. Port number 8 will be your WAN 2. Your computer browser will open Unify Portal and just follow the instructions provided. On this page, you're able to rename your UDM Pro Machine. Please be aware that by proceeding with this, I am assuming your gateway is connected to the internet via your current ISP router. You can reconfigure the PPPoE settings at a later time. On this page, you're able to log in to existing or create an Ubiquity account. On this option, you can create an online UI account. And on this option, you can proceed without UI account. It will work as local account only. But if you have already a UI account, just click this button to log in. Please note that if you log in using a local account, you won't have access to the following services. You're not able to use remote management, multi-factor authentication, notification, cloud backups, and teleport and SiteMagic VPN. On my case, I will log in using my UI account. After logging in, go to your email and check the authentication code to proceed. Then, if you have already UDM on your account, you have the option to restore from online backup or continue without backup. On my case, I want fresh installation and I will configure from scrap. So, I will continue without backup. On this, you have the option to apply storage protection by setting up RAID. But, I will not install a storage because I will use this as gateway only. But in the future, if you want to add a camera on your network, you can still configure the storage from the settings. I have tested a NASHDD from my Synology and it is functioning properly. No storage protection applied yet. Skip this for now. I will skip the speed test for now, but I will enter my internet speed. It depends on your ISP plan. After a couple of minutes, it's done, and you can see the dashboard of your Unify machine. On the dashboard, you can see the WAN details, network and Wi-Fi health, internet activity, and more. Next up is topology. Here, you can view your network diagram. All devices connected to your network were displayed here. Next, we have the unified devices, which are all displayed here along with their status and other details. The next section is client devices, which shows all clients currently connected as well as those that have been connected to your network in the past. Next, we will discuss ports. In this section, you can view the UDM port as well as the ports on your switch. You can also assign port names, manage VLA and assignments for each port, and configure other important settings for your switches. 
That's it for the initial setup of your UDM Pro device. For settings and explanations of its functions, please refer to part 2 of this video.